Hello and welcome to the Crusader C2 Hercules Starlifter. This is our Walk That Ship series. All that means is we walk the ship, we have a little fun, I tell you what I think. This is not your in-depth analysis. If you want that, go to our Talk That Ship series, which is located in a separate playlist on our YouTube channel. So, let's go to the outside of this ship and get this going. So, as you can see, the C2 is a beautiful ship. It's really hard to convince me that it's not. Uh, just the type of the effort that they put into making this ship have its own design language is really incredible. I really, really like the what they did with the wings, the thrusters here on the back. It just it does something to me. I really like it. So as you can see, turret on the back, turret on the bottom, control weapons on the on the front on the top here it's not the most heavily weaponized ship it's really just meant for cargo just over 600 scu it's right now best cargo ship in the game if you ask me most cargo no best cargo yes i think enclosed cargo is going to be a huge thing once the game comes out i think the hurt the the Hercules C2 is going to be one of the best cargo ships in the game, especially because of how quickly it can load with having multiple loading docks. So this front part opens up and then the back part opens up so you can load it both ways. And I think that's going to be huge. Don't get me wrong. The Hull C, the Miss Hull C is still going to be an excellent ship. It's going to carry way more than the Hercules. And the C series all the way up is just going to destroy the Hercules. So don't get me wrong as far as capacity, right? But that's still exposed cargo versus enclosed cargo. I think that's going to make a difference. I could be wrong, but we'll see. But yeah, the design of this ship, absolutely incredible. Even if you don't like the Hercules C2, one thing you can do is hate on the design. All right. That's enough of the outside of this ship. Let's walk through this bad boy. As you can see, the seat slides back. It puts me right into gun mode. We don't need that right now, though. So one thing I really like about this ship is it's meant to be just a ship that carries cargo right but it also is meant to carry a lot of vehicles with it so it's like a military cargo ship is what it's created for however it's not a defensive military cargo ship for that you'd have to jump up to the m2 which has slightly less cargo well i wouldn't say slightly it just has less cargo it's about 150 to 175 less cargo but it has better guns so it's better defended and then if you go above that now you're talking about a cargo ship that's not really made for cargo more so made for bombing because the a2 has huge size 10 bombs and it has even more guns than the m2 but it still has like 200 seu of cargo but that's like 270 less cargo than the m2 and like 400 less than the c2 so that's really for like i i really don't need to to transfer that much it's more so i need to so much as i need to drop a few things and shoot a lot of things whereas the m2 is kind of the middle ground i need to shoot a few things or i need to be a little bit more defensive and the c2 is like i don't really need to shoot anything i just got to drop off a lot of crap all right so the seats, as you can see, they, they slide back. I really like that feature. I do think that this works, this, this view, this view that they have here. I think this works for the C2. I would even say it works for the M2. But I think it should have been edited for the A2. I think the A2 should have a little bit more visibility. Um, if, if nothing else, um, maybe some of this floor work could have been glass to better help you with bombing on the A2. 
So I think that the, the design, I like the design on the interior, but only really for the C2 and the M2. I feel like that the, the A2 should have had a slightly better design. That's pretty much the cockpit. These computers, I'm going to assume, are going to be tractor beam. So you can operate the tractor beam. However, right now, not able to use them. So this is free fly mode, so can't use everything. Let's also look here. You got some component access here on both sides. Then if you keep moving, of course, you can. There's a door here. You have your escape pods. I think these are suit lockers, but I can't confirm. Let me see. Let's see if these are actually suit lockers. They look like suit lockers, but I, I always wonder when I look at these, like, is it that the suit, is it like magnetized right here? And the suit just stands up inside of there? I actually don't know. But either way, they're there. So then if you keep going, and I always love this. This is what I hope is on every ship. You see how you have... Everything here, the explanations of where you're going, we need that on every ship because some of these ships are going to be huge and we need something to tell us where we're going. Eventually we'll know our ships, but yeah, some more component access here. I wonder if we'll be able to leave these open because... I'm not seeing a purpose for closing them outside of looks, of course. Wait for it to open and then start working on it. Or, I mean, what is that? Five, six seconds, actually? That could be, like, crucial time. So why not just keep these open? I mean, maybe I'm just metagaming here. Maybe this won't be... Maybe there'll be some negative that will keep you from doing that. Maybe if the park catches on fire and this is open, it'll spread quicker or something like that. But... I think that's some interesting gameplay stuff there. Um, same here, more components. I do like this. It makes it really easy for an engineer, right? Because look at what they're doing here. Like, I, I think sometimes we have to appreciate how well designed some of this stuff is. But look, one, two, three, four, five, six parts, like, very close, very closely situated. So it's very easy for an engineer, but at the same time, if this part of your ship gets destroyed, I mean, it's going to be tough. <laughs> so I think we have, yeah, here's our radar system, more components here. That's storage. And we keep going down, more storage like internal storage then we have more components here so it's a very quick run and i think this one is a component here but on the other side it's not so it's a quick run for an engineer quick they just they can work on that part work on this one work on that one come over here work on these two this one is not a component they can run down this is storage, storage. I think there's only one other component here, which is, yep, your life support here. And then, boom, they can run back down through all these hallways, or through this one hallway, and they're good. They've done everything they need to do as far as... So I think that's really cool. They, they, they made this a very easy ship to engineer, and I think that is what they were going for with this design language, because if you if you pay attention to it, there's kind of a lot of wasted space here. I mean, this whole area from top down, it's cool looking. It allows you to see the back of your ship and see other people walking around. But I feel like you could have doubled the storage, the storage space or something like that. I don't. Or maybe you could have like a mid deck. Like we go up these stairs and there's something else above this. Like there's no reason I can't have a full room up here and walk over this whole section here. Like this section here could all be covered and then I could just walk on it and then there could be some other use for this up here, right? Um, you know, 
I'm not saying like it could be a med station or something, but maybe you take this this area, this recreation, and you could have put it up here in the middle of the ship, you know. And we'll, let's go through there just so you can see what I'm talking about. So we go through the recreation, and you see this area? It's not that big. It could probably fit up here. If they just took this whole recreation area and put it up there, this could be a med center. This could be like a little med bay. And boom, like now your ship is like way more useful because one of my biggest problems with the Hercules series is that it doesn't need none of them have med bays, not even tier three. And that kind of limits it as far as like using this ship for uh, things other than its purpose. Right. So like if I'm doing a cargo ship, if I'm going to doing a cargo run, I would prefer to use the Carrick because the Carrick has a med bed and I can respawn in it in case some crap happens, right? But at the same time, it doesn't carry as much cargo as this. So I, I, I get that. They're making these ships for their own particular use case. But yeah, I, I think this ship could use a, a med bed. And maybe not all of them. Maybe not the C2, maybe not the, the, the A2, but maybe the M2 gets that, you know? So yeah, let's look around this a little bit. I talk about it in my videos a lot i want to be able to replace these things that are on the shelves like i like this design i like what's here but i want to be able to put my own little a2 m2 and c2 models on here love the tv i do think they need to change this because if you look close you'll see that when i try to select it i can accidentally grab my grenade right that's not the way it should be when i go to try to sit down see how it highlights green but you have to click it in the right spot in order for it to actually sit down. So I can zoom in and still get it wrong, see? But yeah, it shouldn't take me 20 minutes to figure out how to sit down. I think they are going to fix that. The game is still in alpha, so I don't, I everything that's wrong, I kind of take it with a grain of salt. One problem I do have that I don't take with a grain of salt is that I have all this food in here that I can't access, CIG, why? Why are you teasing me with the food, right? This food is in here. You put food and stuff into the game, but then you gave me food and then made it to where I couldn't access the food. I can't open this. There's no open button in here to access all of that food in there. So that makes me think it's just fake food in there. You got plastic food in there, CIG? Placeholder plastic food? And then what's this up here? I'm going to assume that they're veggies for the food, but that looks like pharmaceuticals. And I'm not quite sure if those are legal pharmaceuticals, but we're going to assume they are because this is a kid friendly show. This is family show. Not really, but still it's kid friendly. We try to keep it kid friendly around here. All right. Um, not sure what these are. Uh, if you know in the comments what these are, I know this is where obviously all the dishes are, all the utensils, things that you'll eat with. I also don't know what this is for. I'm going to assume this is for non-perishable food storage you can put down here because obviously your perishables would be inside the refrigerator. I also want to know, can I move this stuff off of the shelves? Because again, the same way I feel about over here where I want to be able to replace the things on the shelves, I want to be able to replace on all the shelves. For instance, this magazine um, or whatever this little booklet is, right? Um, where, oh, look at that. Is that, is that a little Mercury Star Runner? Yeah, it is. Oh, they so cute. Look at little brother. <laughs> so, yeah. Somebody want to tell me what these are? Please let me know. These, here's your, your food. So you have your microwave and then you have your espresso maker. But I'm not sure what this will do. I, I'm assuming it cleans... It has a cleaning section here. Maybe this is more like your oven, and then the cleaning is just showing you, like, you got to clean your oven or whatever. Um, that's going to be interesting. going to be interesting figuring out how we use food in the game. Same here. Want to be able to replace all this stuff. And then here, I also noticed a different issue here. So when I click, right, this is green, and this one says sit. But I want to sit on the inside. So let me try to sit on the inside. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. All right. All right. So 
you kind of have to climb up to sit. So I'm trying to move over and sit here. You can get up, but I don't want to have to jump up on the seat, I guess, to sit. And this is, again, one of those issues with the selection, right? So if it's green and I click it, what's the point of it turning green, I guess? Is that just showing me what I'm about to select? Because if it is, that's cool. But, like, if you, you can recognize what my cursor is over, so why not just let me select it as well? Right-click and select it or something. I feel like there's just still some more to do there. But, yeah. I think the the inner the I do like the fact that you can sit four people here though. So that's pretty cool. All right. Let's move to the next one. So going into the main deck, I think the doors also need to open a little quicker. Like the the sensor's probably in here somewhere. So yeah, we just need these doors to open a little bit quicker. Let's head over again. I, I think, you know, maybe it would stop here because that stuff looks absolutely necessary. Right. But like, I think from here all the way up there, you could take everything that's in there and put it in there. Right. Use a lot better space in here. Habitation. The habitation area is pretty nice. All these lockers. So I wonder if these are going to have locks. They you know, the idea of a, a locker is that it does lock, right? You shouldn't have to worry about people coming in and stealing your stuff. But at the very least, you could put like a key code on there or something like a four digit pin or something like that. And then, you know, maybe you reset the ship if you forget it and then it'll reset all the all the uh, the pin codes or something. But then maybe you have to do that with the pin code, too, because everybody has access to your ship. So I don't know, but I feel like there should be something there to where you can unlock and lock those. Um, I think this is going to be storage up here. Not 100% sure because there's so much storage in the main deck. But, yeah. Two beds here. Could easily fit two, uh, two more beds. However, I don't think that's what they wanted the purpose of this ship to be. It's it. You don't need much crew. You just really need somebody to operate the the tractor beam and then one other person to fly the ship, maneuver the ship. That's really all you need here. More lockers here. So the TVs, I said this in another video that I think the TVs, <clears throat> or maybe this is a desk and it's a computer, I'm not sure, but it looks like a TV. And if I think the TV should have news that's relevant, like it'll tell you like, oh, the cargo price has just changed in Pyro, so go to Pyro. The cargo price has just changed near Stanton, so on and so forth. So, like, it gives you a reason to watch TV. I think that'll be really cool. So, I didn't spend too much time back here. Uh, we went through habitation. Let me finish that. So, this is where you come back out of habitation, right? But let me go back here. So, this is another area of the ship that I feel like could use a little bit of change because so this part here right you can access it obviously that's for engineering right i open this up and then i can work on this part here but i'm not 100 percent sure why i need all of this walking space back here if all i need i just need right here right so that's you know one seu of cargo worth of space right maybe if you count it stacked up maybe three or four seu i i just feel like is it a design thing where it's just like, oh, this is cool. We'll, we'll, you know, it just looks cool to have it angled this way. Or I don't know. I, I guess not every ship should have every single piece of like grid use usable, right? You do need like your walkways and stuff like that. And it does need to look like a real ship. So I'm not harping on that. I'm just calling it out, you know? So yeah, that's, that's the whole main floor. Let's go downstairs. Uh, we don't do ladders. So let's call this elevator here. One thing I also say is CIG, please make all elevators faster, especially in the origin ships. This one's okay, but still it's two decks worth of 
floors that it's go got to go up and down. I feel like in the future elevators are going to be faster than they currently are. So I get that it builds up speed though. I do like that. I just think it needs to build up speed a little bit faster. We don't want to spend a lot of time in elevators, especially for us folks who don't do ladders. So here we have it. This is this huge cavernous space is all of your cargo area. Look at this. Look at this. This is insane. Let's see how, how long it takes to walk. All right, we're starting, if you look at the top, at 745. Go. Trying to stay in a, stay, a straight line here. Thirty-two. So what was that? Thirteen seconds to get to the other side. That's insane. I mean, I wouldn't really count this climb though, because it made me go a little slow. But still, even if it's ten seconds, and you count when I stopped here, this space is huge. Now you you can see why you can fit so much stuff in here. Um, one of the things I really like about this is when you open this. Look at how this comes out i really i really enjoy the way that comes out like i said this has two main areas where you can open it up so open it up here so imagine loading cargo from that side and lo loading cargo from this side that's just amazing you could load this thing up faster than pretty much any other ship Maybe the Caterpillar might have something to say about that because each one of those bays, not only are they mar modular, but they're bays that you can open, you know, so you might be able to load that up a little quicker. And also, you're not venting all of your cargo when you open it up, so that might be another reason to get the Caterpillar over this. It does carry, uh, what, like 40, 40 or 50 less SCU of cargo, so yeah. This is the C2. I don't know what just happened. I'm all turned around here. All right. This is your C2. Little EVA. Look at it. It's a very cool ship. I think if you're in the in the realm of cargo, you know, and you're considering getting one of the best of the best this is what you get i think a good transition would be start with whatever your starter is right earn your way up to a hull a right maybe a hull a is your starter and then you earn your way up to something like with 100 scu you know hull a is hull a is a good starter but I, honestly, I would just go straight from straight from my starter. I would go to my C1. I would get a C1, and you could keep a C1 for a while. And then I would go straight from a C1 to a Caterpillar. Use the Caterpillar until you literally are hitting the top of that SCU, and then I would go C2. But yeah, this is a great ship. I really have no problems with the ship. Outside of the things that I've mentioned, right? Slower elevator. I think you can make a slightly better use of the space. I also think the fact that none of the Crusader, like Hercules ships, have a med bay. I think that could change. You know, the A2 being $750, I think either put one in that one just to justify that $750 price, even if it's not a tier two, I mean, at least a tier three. I don't even know what you should put it. I, I mean, you could put a tier two in it. That would make it worth it. But just this space up here is really my main issue with it. It looks cool. I understand the purpose of it, you know, but I feel like you could take some of that stuff, either in habitation or recreation and put it up there and then, Add a med, a med bed. All right, we'll go back, sit in our seat here. Really cool ship. I think if you're in the market for 
one of the best, if not the king of, dare I say the king of cargo in game right now? I say king because, yes, the Hercules does not have the highest cargo capacity, but as far as usability, I think it's the the highest usability cargo ship you can have right now. So if you want to go whole sea and carry way more cargo, I understand that. I just don't think that ship has as much usability as the C2. So especially considering it can't carry vehicles. So yeah, I'm going to say C2 current as of 3.22 December 2023, the king of the cargo ships. If you disagree, leave a comment telling me how much you disagree. If you agree, tell me you agree. Otherwise, what do you rate this ship? Uh, what do you think this the best use case for this ship is? Let me know in the comments. And always like, subscribe. It's always good to talk to you. That's it for Walk This episode of Walk That Ship. That's the Crusader C2 Hercules Starlifter. See you in the next one. Peace. Thank <music> you.